My babies. Come along. Everybody's hungry. Oh. Well, so many guests tonight. Hello, cutie. babies. Look at this. 
Okay, honey, okay, what's this, what's this? What's that? Red car. Red car, all right, all right, all right, give the little girl a prize. Okay, come on, what's that, honey, what's that? Blue car. Blue, that's right, blue tractor, all right. I mean, we're talking Mensa here. All right, you guys, we're almost to the house. The house? Where's the town? We just passed it. That was a gas station. No, it's a small town. Lindsay, come well, on. Well, Garth is just actually a little junction, and, and Furman is actually. Furman, right. you really want to live in a place called Furman? Garth. Well, that's worse. It sounds like a skin disorder. Well, from what Carrie tells me, honey, uh, it sounds just perfect for us. Yeah, well, I wouldn't exactly call your sister an expert on domestic bliss. Would she live here? Of course not. She doesn't have kids to think about. I don't want Tessa growing up in that city. Hey, wait a minute. I grew up in that city. It didn't hurt me. Terry's still out. Lindsay, look, I want what's best for everybody, but this is, come on, this is just so, so, so green. I mean, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna be Garthonians. Garthonians? Yes. You wanna be a Garthonian, honey? <laughs> no. No, oh, neither do I. Come on, right. honey, please. <laughs> That's what I like. We'll have to All our friends will be named Z. About, but the price is right and the schools are great. Oh, it's beautiful. Hi. You have any trouble finding it? Well, directions are not Paul's forte. I spoke with the other broker and she said to How are you holding up? Uh, hills and valleys. Yeah, well, things will work out. I know. You know, Paul's really been terrific, by the way. You're a lucky gal. Yeah, I think I'll keep him. Do so you want to see the inside? <laughs> no. <laughs> Paul, come on! Paul! Come Better hurry up and get inside before Mommy gets out her checkbook. Hey. <laughs> All right. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. Daddy's little girl. Mwah. Listen, uh, as your brother-in-law and legal counsel, I think it's only fair to warn you that if we end up buying this place, your divorce could end up paying for it. Uh, for your darling, anyway. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at this. Fireplace. You remember Grandma likes to have one like this? Yeah, my grandfather used to clean one like that. Okay, so how long has it been on the market? It's just listed. The sellers are very motivated. The kitchen does need a little bit of updating. The plumbing's kind of old, but everything works. Yeah, we certainly have a privacy here. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Paul, Paul. Paul. How come they're selling? The woman who owned it passed away recently. I guess the heirs needed the cash. Well, it does have a certain charm in an Amityville kind of way. Oh, Paul, will you stop it? I had to drag him up here, you know that? Look, I love the city too, Paul, but you've got a family now. It's not like you're in college anymore. Yeah, college was closer. I know. Show him the attic. Oh, Dark, the attic. cramped places, they always remind him of home. I think this room could be converted into a fourth bedroom or a study oh, or something. A play room for Tessa. What a huh? great idea! Yeah. Yeah, we could put uh, dormer windows and some floral wallpaper. Mm -hmm. How about a place for you to write? I don't know. It needs a new roof, though. What do you think, honey? Uh -huh. Oh, I think I need a tissue. Wait. Thank you. It's nice, though, huh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, honey, what do you 
Oh, come on. I'm happy if you're no, happy. I you mean, know that. Are you sure? No, but... Oh, Felix! Okay, we're gonna take it! That's great! That's great! I'll bring you the paperwork on Monday. I think you guys got a great chance. Oh, thanks. So if anything happens to the settlement, you let me know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look, Steven's lawyer's hung up on some stuff, but we'll work it out, okay? I know you will. Thanks. You bet. Do I get a goodbye? Oh, huh? Yes. Huh? Say goodbye to Annie Claire. Oh, oh boy. Bye, sweetie. Okay, There we go. All right. Watch your head now. Watch your head, baby. Congratulations, you guys. This is great. All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> can't believe it. Okay. Don't have I'll call you next week. Okay. All right? Drive carefully. Or you call me. I will. Okay? Bye. Be careful. Time to unpack. Come on. Come on, Benny. No, Benny, see no, the door? I see have it? not forgotten the story. As a matter of come fact, on, I think this come is going to be a terrific place. Hey, come on, pal. Yes, what are you I doing? do. Come on, you're here. Well, Walk through. Oh, George, it's, it's not that Benny, far. We can be the city sweetie, in an hour sweetie, and a half. Tell me you want to advance in your next book. No, Benny, no, well, like it's dog. not that we don't like your area. I don't know. There's just too many rich publishers there. Okay, that sounds good. We'd love to. No, 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 not dinner. A check. A check. Yes, Paul's looking forward to seeing you, too. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> it's okay, honey. No, 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 Benny! It's all right, sweetie. Oh, why didn't you ask him for an advance? Because based on the sales of my last book, we owe him money. Um, would you get her a banana, please? Sure. But are we broke again? Ah, uh, broke's a strong word. I'd go with vastly depleted. Oh, by the way, has Claire paid her bill yet? Uh, no, she hasn't. Well, that's it. I'm going to talk to her. I now. wish you wouldn't. No, that's not fair. Look, it's not her fault. Stephen's lawyer's been impossible on the settlement. Yeah, well, she did make a commission on this house, didn't she? Yeah, but she's also family. Oh, look, I love my sister, too, honey. But, you know, I also know my sister. And you've really gone out of your way for her. I don't like her taking advantage of me. She's not, I promise. Oh. Look, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I got a great idea, okay? After the case is settled... And we got this place together. Why don't the two of us take a vacation on Claire? I got a better idea. Yeah? Why don't you take me out to the vegetable garden and ravage me? <laughs> whoa, whoa, honey, 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 whoa, whoa. One of these days you're going to fall right on your head, huh? You OK? Hey, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. Come on, sweetie. Let's get the door. Let's get the door. Who is it? Phone man. Uh, somebody call uh, about a new line? Uh-huh. Where's your main equipment at? Uh, honey, phone man's here. Where's the main equipment at? It's in the cellar. Right, yeah, it's in the cellar. Where's that? Around the side of the house where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> uh, you can come through here if you want.
Benny, come on, come on. Hey, Benny, pay attention, okay? Benny, come on, Benny, Benny. It's not that difficult a concept. It isn't. Look, all you gotta... Uh, uh, Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. Okay, honey, now look. Do you like cottontail, sea mist, or August moon? Oh, how about white? White. That's a good choice. Yeah, that white will work. Benny, Benny, no, no, no. Come here, come here, Benny. You gotta go through the plastic door, you see? Benny, 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 come here. You gotta come. Oh, did I hit your head, honey? Benny, did you... You're gonna need a new protector block. How you doing? I was, uh... I was just showing the um, the dog, you know, how, how to get to do uh, What's the problem? Rats. What? You got rats. Big rat problem. Chewed up most of your wiring. Are you hearing this? I got my test set hooked up downstairs in case you need to make a phone call. I got to come back in the morning with some new equipment. Might be a good idea you get yourselves a cat. Oh, uh, that's not uh, my husband's allergic. <laughs> well, you got rats in the cellar. You got rats up here. Better do something. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Yes. Yes. Come here. Come here. Screwdriver. Yep. Nails. Got him. Plunger. Plunger? Light bulbs. I got the light bulbs. Traps. Right here. Bazooka. Oh, you forgot something. You know, what else? Okay, paint, fire extinguisher, gloves. <laughs> gloves? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you bought gloves. So? That's so cute. What? Farmer John gloves. They're not Farmer John gloves, they're rat fighting gloves. Honey, we wear your gloves tonight. Look, I'm just not crazy about the idea of picking up the remaining. Ah! Ah! Ah. Is everybody all right? No, oh, Tessa. <laughs> Was that? Bad luck. She's never gonna want to get in a car with me again. Oh, honey, it's not your fault. Oh, what if she has bad dreams? She's not. She's not. Yeah, what if she gets in the middle of the night? She can't find Move her. right across the hall. Hey, what's she never been here before? She won't be able to find it. She's gonna be totally scared. Okay, well, I have an idea. Why don't you sleep in the crib and she'll sleep in the bed with me tonight? <laughs> What's this ranch for? I had to use it to turn off the faucet in the bath. I guess whoever lived here before never used it. <laughs> I guess whoever lived here never dusted either. Maybe you're catching a cold. Uh, I think it's just a country crud in here. <laughs> Not to be confused with that good old city crud, huh? Well, those Garthonians are proud and rare for you, honey. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Well, I've only been here a day. Talk to me in a week or two. If I become a non-dusting, non-bathing human being, you'll know I've adjusted. Wait a minute. What's this? What's this? Hmm. It was in my pocket. <gasps> you are where I live. Oh, Paul. It's so sweet. Oh. Do you know how much I love you? Remind me.
Benny's barking again. Mm-hmm. He's gonna wake up the neighbors. We have no neighbors. Honey. Stuck in a ditch off our driveway. Uh, don't ask. Don't we'll definitely off. need a tow truck. What? A tow truck. All right. Well, the car will be right up front. Right what? what? No, I can't, I can't understand. The batteries are going on this thing. What? Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Tow truck will be here this afternoon. Okay. You sure you want to go to work? You sound awful. Yeah. Well, you know, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Oh. Oh, and what might that be? Oh. <laughs> hey, microwave's on the fritz again. Jiggle the cord. Mm. Mm. Looks like got the fire extinguisher just in time. <laughs> Ooh, there's my cab. I gotta go. Oh, I better not. I don't think I have enough nasal spray for the both of us. I hope you feel better. Yeah, me too. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Honey. Uh-huh. Thanks. For what? Just thanks. Stop meeting like this. Faye, what's that? It's a housewarming present. Oh. Are you leaving? I thought you were coming to breakfast with us. Oh, I wish I could, but I got husbands to grind. I'll see you in court at uh, 4 o'clock. Yeah, right? listen, I wanted to thank you for everything you've been doing. Oh, well, I'm popular today. Yeah, I mean, really, thank you. <laughs> well, well, um, have. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Oh, uh, thanks. Have a nice breakfast. Bye. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. Come here, you come in. You ready? Whenever you are. Okay. We'll play hide and seek later, all right? Always playing games, huh? Well, not always. Anyway, I was sitting at the stop sign, and the guy in the Mercedes kept Thanks. looking at me. So I figured, why not give him a thrill? I rolled down my window, I turn, and you're not going to believe who it was. Who? Chuck Lubin. Who? Chuck Lubin. I used to date him in high school. I just remember that really big guy used to come to the house sometimes and show us his car. He used to get upset because he always wanted to take me for rides. Oh, yeah, check the duck. Yeah, you should see him now. He's gorgeous. And I think it was you who was always begging for the ride. I gave him my phone number. Why? Well, yeah, people change. Claire, don't you think it might be a good idea to take a little time for yourself right now? <laughs> Look, I'm not going to marry the guy. I know, I know, but... Oh, forget it. Never mind. What? What were you going to say? Why do you always need other people to fill you up? Lindsay, I really don't need a lecture right now. I'm having a hard enough time as it is. I'm not giving you a lecture. I'm trying to help you. What's this all about? You know, it was me who told Paul he ought to represent you, but quite frankly, I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Why? Just don't get too dependent on him, okay? Because he's my husband. <laughs> well, he's my lawyer. He's been incredibly supportive, which is a lot more than I can say for you right now. Fine. You know what, Claire? You and Chuck Lubin, you deserve each other.
Tessa. Where do you think he came from? He, the handsome fellow. Now, if we put you outside, will you be a good ratter? Hmm? Let's go surprise Daddy. Won't he be surprised to see you? Come on. You know, it's tough. His lawyer refuses to bend. It's funny. Stephen used to hate our apartment. Mm. Next house I build is going to be ours. That's what he used to always say, the next house. Guess the apartment wasn't the problem. Well, he hasn't got any yet. But why would he do this? I mean, he promised me. Paul, Richard Heiler on one. Thanks, Barbara. Our favorite opposing lawyer. Yeah. Richard, long time no argue. Further thoughts about the apartment? Do the words having a prayer mean anything to you? Oh, come on. I don't care who had it first. Clarence Stephen had an agreement. If they ever broke up, she was going to get the place. Look, Dick. May I call you Dick? The guy builds houses for a living. Don't tell me he can't find something. He's become a what? He's, be he's become a nester? <laughs> Look, one of the reasons my client wants a divorce is because most of her marriage, your client was never home. All of my marriage. All of her marriage. What is that supposed to mean? No, I don't think you're lying now. I always think you're lying. Well, you're wasting your time. No, 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 no. You listen to me. You tell your client that my client will accept his gracious alimony offer, but if you think for one minute that I'm going to buy into this and let you kick her out on the street, you're dreaming. All right. OK. Unbelievable. What? That's amazing. What do you say? Well, he claims to have evidence to the effect that while Stephen was out building his empire, you were, um, you were living it up with some friend of his. Really? That's unbelievable. I mean, you weren't, were you? Claire. What difference does it make? Stephen was never there for me, ever. I mean, all he ever cared about was his work. What was I supposed to do, sit around the house making cookies? I was lonely. It still doesn't give him the right to take my home away from me, does it? Paul? Paul, please don't judge me. I just did what I had to do to keep my sanity. I'm sorry if I hurt our position. But it happened. Claire, you got to tell me these things. I'm sorry. Come on. We'll work it out. I mean, you guys had a verbal agreement. Just because Stephen wants to back out doesn't mean the judge is going to let him, OK? All right? It's my home, Paul. I know, baby. I know. It's OK. It's OK. Hey. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. <whistles> Lindsay.
So the cats have been here all the time, huh? I guess that's why I've been sneezing so much. Have you thought about finding a new home for them? A pet store, you know, a shelter? Lindsay. We're keeping them. It's, it's impossible. The cats are staying. Lindsay, can we please discuss this? Look, it's not what it looks like, okay? I mean, the woman's having problems. There's no doubt about it, but nothing was gonna happen. Lindsay, would you please come out here? We could talk about this. Lindsay! Can you, you don't have to shout. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I just wish you'd give me a chance to explain you this. You don't have to explain but anything. I want to. For who? What do you mean, for who? What well, is that I... supposed to mean? I saw you kiss her this morning. What? I guess you got over your cold Wait, wait, hold on quick. a second. I didn't kiss her. She kissed me, all right? And besides, Claire's going through a lot of difficulties right now, and I don't think it's fair wait to be judging wait her. Wait a minute. Are you defending her? No, no, yes, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're defending her. No, no. I can't believe this. I, I'm not talking to my husband. I'm, I'm talking to her lawyer. Honey, how do I make you understand? Oh. I was. God, you know, Claire obviously wants to believe that you'd do anything for her. That's what she needs to believe. I'm not so sure she's wrong. She's still asleep. The cats go today. Oh, Paul, today. I don't think... Well, why would they do this? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah? It doesn't make any sense if they're in the house, but they're still here, aren't they? Well, could we at least call a vet? Lizzie, I don't need a vet to teach me how cats behave. I know how they behave. That's why I have a dog. Where is Benny? I haven't seen him. Benny? Call a 
of that. There you go, buddy. Good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Real good boy. They like it when you say that. So tell me, when did this happen? Uh, well, we don't know. Oh, well, he may have been out all night. Yeah. You left him out in this weather all night? No, no, there's a pet door. He, he... Yeah, I mean, he's going to be all right, isn't he? I hope so. Well, most of the wounds seem to be superficial, but I'd like to take him to my office for a couple of days. Keep an eye on him. Sure. Yeah. You need some looking after, don't you? You know, owning a pet is a privilege. Shouldn't be taken lightly. We don't. Well, all right. I'll call you in the morning. I'll let you know what the score is here. Grab my bag, will you? Uh, wait a minute, doctor. You didn't tell us how it happened. Was it the cats? With what the cats? Well, it did this. Didn't know you had cats. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Look, my wife, she found some strays in the attic. No, I figured this little guy tangled with a fox or maybe a raccoon. We see that a lot. Would you mind taking a look anyway? They made a real mess of our bedroom last night. Well, all right, if you insist. Okay. Tina, look, we're going to be right back. I want you to stay here and guard the fort. They like it when you say that, too. It gives them a sense of purpose. Oh, you got a female, I'd say about five years of age, and the kitten, uh, male, uh, five or six weeks. And? And they both appear to be in good health. Did they do this? Well, that's highly unlikely. Well, uh, what about our bedroom? Well, you see any other cats around here? Oh, the one in our driveway yesterday. What, uh, what'd that look like? Big. Yeah, he's much bigger than this one. Hmm. Well, uh, could be the father. You know, what you found in your bedroom sounds like a uh, dominant male marking his territory. A what? Dominant male. See, when he sprays like that, it means he wants you to keep off his turf. His turf? This is our house. <laughs> Cat may differ. Yeah, well, look, take a look at this over here. This vent was open. He must have come through here. Oh, well, maybe came in there, maybe came in the way they did. Ah, oh, cats are pretty industrious. A storm like this is quite a motivator. Yeah, but did he hurt Benny? It's possible. A lot more possible if he's feral. What, feral? Well, What's well, that? Going wild. It can happen to pets who are lost or abandoned. Left to fend for themselves, even the most domestic animals will turn sooner or later. It's not a pretty picture. So what are you telling us? We have a wild cat living in our backyard? Oh, no, no. A wild cat, a real wild cat like uh, an ocelot. They saw you, they'd run. But a feral, oh, they've been around people all their lives, so uh, they're not afraid at all. Oh, makes them much more dangerous than any, any wild cat. I'll call animal regulations, see if I can get them out here to set some traps. Meantime, you better lock that pet door. Anything else? No. Keep a cool head, a wet nose, <laughs> a little vet humor. What about the vets? Go oh, fix them. And the cats upstairs. Ah, them downstairs. Hey, you don't seem very concerned here. Mr. Jared, we're talking about a cat. Get a grip on yourself. Wait a minute. My dog's been ripped to shreds. My, my room's destroyed. My sinuses are completely inflamed. I think I got a right to be concerned. As a matter of fact, I'd appreciate it if you were a little bit more understanding. All right. Hey! Now, I didn't want to have to do this. Here, take it. What? Go ahead, take it. It's not loaded. This is a water pistol. Ah, you're very observant. Gee, cats hate water. Now, you see any around here you don't want to keep? You give them a shot with that. Now, they'll despise you, and the psychological damage will be profound, but they'll leave. I'm sorry. OK, handsome. What do you say we go Easy, back? easy, easy, easy. Yeah. I got him. It's going to be OK, okay. pal. Get my back for me. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Good boy. Tow truck never showed. Nope. Uh, doctor. Yeah. Uh, if it's if it's not too much trouble, could I get a ride into town with you? I gotta catch a train. 
Hey, he has no shame, has he? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Are you going to be okay? Sure. Lindsay, I love you. You know that. I know. I give Tess a kiss, okay? Okay. Bye. not exactly how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's right. Hmm. Okay, come on. Napperman time. Daddy's shirt. Yes, that's Daddy's shirt. You know Daddy's shirt, don't you, sweet girl? Yes, you do. Okay. Nighty night. Sleep tight. Close your eyes. Big kiss. Mm. Hi, Barbara. It's me. Can I speak to Paul? Oh, Mrs. Jarrett, he's not back from lunch. He's not? No, he should be back around three. Okay. Well, we have him call me when he gets back from lunch. What? What? No, Bar Barbara? No, there's... Barbara!
I got it. Hi, sweetheart. I'm glad you called. I tried to call you after lunch, but I... I'm right here. I'm right here. I tried to call you earlier, but I... Honey. Lindsay? Lindsay, can you hear me? Lindsay, are you okay? What? What is it, honey? Lindsay! I gotta go home, call everybody, tell them I can't make it, and I need to borrow your car. This is Claire. I'm sorry I missed you. Please leave your name and telephone number and all your secrets. Miss Letterer? This is Barbara from Paul Jarrett's office. He asked me to give you a call and let you know that today's court appointment has been canceled. He apologizes for the inconvenience, but unfortunately, he had to go home early to deal with a family matter. We will contact you to reschedule.
5 Crescent Road, okay? 87, Cloverleaf exit, right? Been there. Okay, follow that to Holbridge Road. That should be coming up. Holbridge, follow that all the way into Furman, which leads me to Oblivion. Where the hell is Garth?
Okay, honey, let's go outside. Oh, Tessa, please. No, can't. The kitties aren't going to come outside because of the rain, okay? So I want you to stay right here until Mommy comes back. I'm going to lock the door, but you wait right here until Mommy comes back. Do you understand? No. Oh, yes, baby, it's okay. Okay, right here, all right? Good girl. Yes? Good girl, okay? Okay, you stay right here. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, baby, right back.
Okay, uh, okay, sweetie, don't move, okay? Don't move, all right? I want you to crawl over there. I want you to go out that door. See a little door over there? Remember how we showed Benny? Yeah, just like we showed Benny, right? Oh, I baby, mean, I can't. Daddy can't go. Daddy's too big. You go, honey. I'll meet you outside. I know the cats are there. I know they're there. I know. But if you go real slow, they won't hurt you, okay? Tessa, listen to me. Tessa, no! Lindsay, wait. No, no. Do you see Mommy? See Mommy? Mommy's waiting for you now. Okay, can you go see Mommy? Can you, can you go to Mommy? Can, can you go see Mommy? Mommy's right there. Okay, baby, go real slow, though. Real slow. Easy, easy, baby. That's a big girl. You're a big girl. You're such a big girl. Okay, that's it. There you go, Tessa. Just keep going nice and slow. That's my girl. Just keep going to Mommy. Okay, you're almost there. No, no, don't stop. It's a good girl. Nice and slow now. Oh, no. Tess, listen to Daddy. You gotta unlock the door, baby. You gotta unlock. That's it, baby. That's it. Come here, baby. Come, Tess. Crescent Road? Yes. You the owners? No. Where are they? 
inside. That's it. Come on. Let's go, everybody. Come on, sweetie. All right, here we go. Come on, Benny. Everybody in. There you go. You all settled, baby? Yeah, that's a good girl. Lindsay, we're ready. Honey? You know, we could still stay. I mean, animal regulation did take the cats away. Or we could get another place in the same area. I mean, to be honest with you, I was beginning to like green. You are where I live, right? Now. What was that? It's just a cat. Oh, isn't he adorable? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> 